Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We will now talk about the next important biomolecule that is protein. So what are proteins? A very common question. Now proteins are extremely important. You talk about anything inside a living organism and everywhere you see proteins. So proteins have a, a, a huge diversity of its functions. So it, it builds each and everything inside the cell. If you see, and proteins are there everywhere. They are uh, used in the formation of muscle fibers, whether you talk about the connective tissues, you talk about uh, hemoglobin, you talk about the hormones, you talk about the enzymes. So everything, in everything there is protein. So proteins are extremely important to understand. So throughout the human body, everywhere you see proteins. In fact, it is also advisable always to eat as much proteins as you can. For example, the ground nuts, uh, milk, egg, fish, all these things are very rich source of proteins. So it is always adv advisable to include proteins in your diet because proteins help in, in, in your body in so many ways. So just now I gave you so many examples. So it helps in, it acts as structural material, it helps in transport, in uh, building the immune system, it acts as catalyst. So it has got so many functions to perform. So as much as proteins you have in your body, the better it is. Now talking about the structure of proteins, uh, amino acids are the building blocks of protein. Like in case of carbohydrates, monosaccharides were the simplest unit. So monosaccharides together formed disaccharides and polysaccharides. So here in proteins, the building blocks are amino acids. So amino acids are the micromolecules and proteins are the macromolecules. So we will discuss both of them under this topic. Now, there are only some 20 amino acids which exist. But when you talk about proteins, there are a huge variety of proteins. So just imagine only with these 20 amino acids, you can create so many proteins. How, how is that possible? It is very similar to the 26 alphabets of English. We have only 26 alphabets, but how many words can we make from them? Huge number of words, right? There is no limit to that. So just look at these words which have been formed from those 26 alphabets. Now, making use of any three words, let us say S, A, C, SAC. So in fact, in these four, five words, five letters itself, you have sauce, you can make SAC, you can make <coughs> uh, maybe something else as well, you can make it Q. So that means you can make many different words out of those 26 letters of English alphabet. So how are you able to do that? Just by different combinations of the same words. Now, in a very similar way, putting the same amino acids in different sequences, you can make many different proteins. So it is not only the number of amino acids. Let us suppose you build one protein with only two amino acids. You build another protein with five amino acids. So it is not only the number of amino acids present, it is also the sequence in which the amino acids are present. So putting them in different sequence, putting them in different numbers, you will be able to get numerous proteins with only 20 amino acids. So the structure of protein would be something like this with so many amino acids. So all proteins are polymers of amino acids. So now you know how exactly the formation will take place. That means units of amino acids will join together to form proteins. So when they join together, they will join forming a bond. And that bond will be formed by losing water. So by the process of dehydration synthesis, a new bond will be formed like the glycosidic bond which formed in case of carbohydrates. So similarly here a new type of bond will be formed which is called peptide bond. So in case of proteins that bond is known as peptide bond. So we will discuss about peptide bond in detail. So for now you just understand this that 
the structure of proteins are not that simple. It is quite complex, in fact. And the basic building blocks are amino acids. Only 20 amino acids exist in nature. But these amino acids with different permutation and combination with different sequences, they give rise to new, new proteins. So let us first understand the structure of amino acids. Only if we know an amino acids, then only we'll be able to understand the structure of proteins. So what is what do you think is amino acid? Just with the name. It has two words, amino and acid. So that means it has an amine group. So this so many people pronounce it as amino acid, many people pronounce it as amino acid. <coughs> so the word amino means that it has an amine group. So amino acids contain amino group and a carboxyl group. Acid is nothing but what is acid? Which group, which is the functional group for acid? The COH that is carboxylic acid, the carboxyl group. And amino group is NH2. So a compound with one amino group and a carboxyl group that is going to be amino acid. As simple as that. So something like this, these are all amino acids. So if you see, this is the amine group and this is the carboxyl group. Again, this is the amine group, this is the carboxyl group. Again, here this is the amine group and this is the carboxyl group. So all these are examples of amino acid. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.